Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Melissa and I love to do all things crafty on a budget, especially Dollar Tree DIYs, farmhouse decor is my specialty and much, much more. So if that is something you're interested in, I would love if you would stick around by clicking that red subscribe button. So for today's video, you guys, I'm so excited. You guys asked to see the turntable. So I'm gonna bring you guys a turntable tear tray. I'm also gonna show you guys how to decorate a tear tray. I don't know about you, but I personally have a hard time decorating tear trays. And I wanna show you that at Walmart, they have the perfect little kits for for a tiered tray. So let's not waste any time and let's start off with the Dollar Tree turntable. So I start off with this wood piece and this little metal bowl that I got out of the pet section at Dollar Tree. And I just kind of wanted to show you all of the different things that you could use for this. So you could use the bowl, you could use the um, wooden base, you can even use a piece of foam. You would just have to weigh that down. And then as far as the top part, there are many, many things you can use as well. But for me personally, I am going to use the burner covers from Dollar Tree. Now, hindsight is always 2020, right? So I personally wish that I would have used that plastic plate that I have sitting there that I got out of the party section just because it's super, super sturdy, but I know that for next time and I am able to tell you guys the best way to do this since I already did it. So anyway, now that we got that whole spiel out of the way, I'm going to start off with this Batman fidget spinner that we got about a year ago from Dollar Tree. Now, please, you guys, hear me when I tell you this. Do not use the Batman fidget spinner. I repeat, do not use it. It does not work right. It makes it floppy and it just doesn't work. So, I could have swore I had one that had three sides or even four sides because the fidget spinners have weights on them, but I didn't. So I just had to use what I had. Um, it just is what it is. So anyway, you're going to take your fidget spinner to a piece of foam board. You're going to cut out two pieces or you're going to draw a circle that's going to fit completely around your fidget spinner. I then take my craft utility knife that I got from Walmart. Now this was a new craft kit that I got. Um, it's got a bunch of different things. You can weld with it. Um, you can cut foam board and uh, burn wood. There's all kind of different uh, tips to it, but I had a plaid one that works way better. So I definitely recommend that one. So anyway, again, sorry for that spiel, but I did just want to mention that my plaid hot knife does work better. So after I cut those pieces of foam board out, and I also did just want to show you, you want to let the heat of the knife do the work. So you shouldn't really be pressing down. I'm just holding tightly to this knife because I had a little incident in the past. I won't get into all that. But anyway, once you have two pieces cut, then I glue the two pieces together. I then pop that little middle piece off of the fidget spinner and I lay that down on my foam piece and I trace the circle and then I cut that out. I then take my double sided tape and I cut a piece and I put one piece on each side of the weight. I then take the other piece off of the double sided tape and I attach that to one side of my foam piece, making sure that that middle piece on the fidget spinner fits nicely inside of that middle hole. I then flip it over and then I take another piece of my double sided tape. I cut that down to size and then I attach that to the opposite side on the black plastic piece that we popped off originally to trace and cut out the middle. And then I attach that down to my bowl. Now, personally, again, hindsight is 2020. I think that the wood piece just works better. It's heavier. Um, this metal bowl does work, but it's just not heavy enough. So when you go to spin your turntable, the metal bowl wants to move. So you'll see here in a minute what I do, but I recommend to just either glue directly down to um, your wooden piece or maybe find something else that's a little bit heavier for your base. Thank you. 
Next, I use my double-sided tape once again to attach this foam piece to, or I should say, attach the burner cover to the foam piece. Now, you guys, I was not paying attention here. I did not put this down in the middle, so definitely make sure you put yours down in the middle before you attach it, or I should say measure out the middle before you attach it. Now here, like I said, this was moving all around when I was trying to spin it. So I did just take this wooden piece or wooden plaque from Dollar Tree. I marked where my bowl would set and then I hot glued straight to the wood because if you try to glue to the bowl and then place it on your wood, the metal just dries the hot glue way too quickly. Next, I give everything two good coats of my white Waverly chalk paint, and I was also showing you that I did end up painting the fidget spinner white as well. That way, if you look underneath, it all blends together really nicely. Next, I go in with my chip brush and some antique wax by Waverly, and I just dry brush all the way around the bottom piece as well as the top piece as well. Um, this is optional. You can paint this however you want your turntable, but I personally love the weathered and rustic look, so that is why I went in with the dry brushing. I just love the way that dry brushing looks, you guys. You can just do so many things with it. You can go light. You can go a little bit heavier. It just depends on your preference. So, the way that I do the top of this turntable is I start by going around all of the edges. I then go back and forth with my chip brush and then I go around in a circular motion. I also hold my brush in one spot and then spin the turntable so again it would kind of make those circular brush strokes and kind of look like a tree trunk if you were to cut it open. I did also want to mention that I forgot to let you guys know that I did paint the other burner cover that came in the pack the exact same way as I did the bigger one. And I'm showing you here how wobbly it is once I attach the turntable because please, 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 you guys use a fidget spinner that is evenly distributed, or I should say the weight is evenly distributed. So that was it, you guys. It was super easy to put together. I love it so much. I'm going to make one for in the house and I'm going to make it the right way. Um, so let me know in the comments down, down below if you guys are going to make one for yourself. So now that we did that part, let's turn this into a tiered tray. So I start off with this large dowel that I've had forever. My kids had a TP that they did not use, so I kept the dowels. So I um, mark that where I want that middle piece to be. And then here is my saw that everybody asked about last video. So I did just want to show you again how amazing this thing is. It is a one-handed saw and they are on sale right now at Home Depot for $99 and that is the tool only. I did a little shorts on my channel um, yesterday actually while I was at Home Depot. So if you go back into my videos and check, you'll see it and the SKU number um, is there as well. So once I had my pieces cut down for the top and bottom, the top piece, this is a scrap piece. I don't even know what it's from, but I figured that I would just use that up. So I stained both pieces with my antique wax. After I wipe them down with a paper towel, then I go in with my wood glue, hot glue, and I attach that middle piece to the bottom of the burner cover. 
once that was dry then I just make sure that it is evenly spaced this time around I got smarter and then I screwed that down to or I should have said I glued the longer piece to the top piece and then I put a screw at the top just to make sure it was secured and then I went in and I glued down the middle piece to the bottom piece And look how cool that is when it spins, you guys. And to zhuzh this up a little bit, I drilled a hole at the top of the first dowel. Now, again, hindsight is 2020. I was all discombobulated with this project, but that's okay. I have those days just like everybody else. Um, and we just deal with it and move on, right? So anyway, I did end up taking it off taking a piece of wire jute and then attaching that at the top kind of like a little handle next i reattach that to the top and i was trying to attempt to distribute the weight evenly um so i attached some wood pieces to the bottom and you guys nothing i did worked so like I said a million times, just use a fidget spinner where the weight is evenly distributed and you'll be just fine. So once that was all complete, I did end up removing the bowl and then just attaching the fidget spinner and foam board part to that wood piece. And I painted that wood piece to match. And then to finish it off, all I did was just dry brush underneath the um, burner covers and I just finished off by uh, dry brushing that bottom piece as well and you guys I love the way that this turned out please let me know in the comments down below what you think and for this next part I'm going to show you how easy it is to put up a little tiered tray with just a few items Okay friends, so this week on channels to check out, I want you guys to check out my dear friend Maxine from Maxine Loves Crafts. You guys, she has been with me for a very long time. She has been a longtime supporter of the channel. I absolutely love the stuff that she makes, so I will leave all of their information in the description box as well as the pinned comment. And the next one I want you guys to check out is Ashley from A Creative Life. You guys, she is so fun and so cute. She does so many fun things on her channel and she also has a little business where she makes all natural um, products for your body you know soaps and lotions so again I'll leave all her information down below check her out go show her little business some love show her channel some love and let her know that I sent you so anyway don't forget to check out my friends and let's jump back into today's video Okay, so you guys, Walmart right now has the coolest little tear tray kits. They have tear trays for $15, and then the little decor that comes or for the tear tray are $10 or $9.98 a piece. So I picked up two of them and I'm just gonna show you guys how I arrange a tear tray. I know for me personally, because it's such a small distance between the trays or the tiers, I should say, and you have to find decor that like fits on here. Sometimes I find that decorating a tear tray is super hard for me. So I did just kind of want to show you guys that it really isn't that hard, especially with these 
these little um, kits from Walmart. I know that you can do it if I can do it. And I just wanted to show you guys that it's super simple and super easy to put together. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I see that a lot of you guys watch, but you don't subscribe, but you don't subscribe. So you might as well click that red subscribe button, become part of this crafty family. That way you don't miss another Dollar Tree or fun crafting moment. Also, don't forget to share this with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well. And with all that being said, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing and gorgeous. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.